uh, before I begin and, clear, and be clear up front that because this in incident involves a juvenile perpetrator, we are prohibited by law from pro providing mu you with much in the way of additional information beyond our statement. Um, what I can tell you is that today, March 15, 2019, at approximately 7.30 a.m., a 911 call was received reporting a shooting at 76 Dobbins Way in Alton, New Hampshire. Officers from the Alton Police Department responded to the residents. An adult female, Lizette Eckert, age 50, who had suffered a gunshot wound, was found deceased at the residence. An autopsy for Ms. Eckert is tentatively scheduled for tomorrow. An adult male, James Eckert, age 48, was also found at the residence and had suffered gunshot wounds. Mr. Eckert was transported to the Portsmouth Regional Hospital and he remains in critical condition. In addition to the officers from the Alton Police Department, the Belknap Regional Special Operations Group also responded to the scene where a search ensued in the area surrounding the residence for the assailant. At approximately 9.30 a.m. this morning, a juvenile was taken into custody. The New Hampshire State Police Major Crime Unit, with the assistance of officers from the Alton Police Department, have undertaken the investigation that has followed. The juvenile who was taken into custody this morning has since been charged under the juvenile laws in this state with one count of reckless second degree murder and one count of attempted murder. As I have stated, since the alleged perpetrator is a juvenile, the law precludes any further information from being released. But I do also want to ask that anyone with any additional information about this matter, please contact Detective Sergeant William Bright with the New Hampshire State Police. His phone number is 603-223-4381. I'll take any questions you have. Where was this juvenile found? The juvenile was found in the area around the residence. What was the relationship between the juvenile and the victim? Can't comment on that. Did you have any previous calls for service to that home or contact with that family? That's not something I can comment on. Can you talk about access to the gun? I can't. Can you confirm the juvenile age, 11? I can't provide that information, as I said. The juvenile laws in this state prohibit us from releasing any additional information. Was the juvenile injured in any way? Can't comment on that. Were there other, other juveniles in the residence at the time? Not something I can discuss. Was it a handgun or a long gun? Not something I can discuss. Who Were they made the 911 the call? call? Sorry, one at a time. Sorry, who made the 911 call? Uh, that's not information I can provide at this time. Were they renting the property? Can you confirm that they were? That's not information I can confirm, though. No. Can you just explain to us in the time between when this um, happened and when you actually, you know, uh, uh, got that juvenile into custody, kind of what was, can you describe the search at all to us, what it was like, or was he, or he or she, I'm sorry, considered dangerous in any way? Um, so certainly the special operations group responded to participate in the search with local law enforcement. That search took approximately two hours, and it was a search in the area in the immediate vicinity of the residence. And as I said, at about approximately 9.30, the juvenile was taken into custody. Can you speak about the gravity of something like this? Certainly an 11-year-old being charged for a crime like this. So what the 11-year-old has been charged with are offenses within the juvenile system. So that's different uh, than being charged with criminal acts. These are the equivalent of crimes in the juvenile system. Um, but certainly I think it goes without saying that this is an incredibly tragic incident um, with a child involved. Uh, juvenile perpetrator involved and adult uh, victims involved. How were you able to identify him as the suspect? Did one of the victims tell you this is who you're looking for? That's not any information I can provide while the investigation is ongoing. Who has the juvenile being held now? So uh, all the statements are coming from the Attorney General's office. Where is the juvenile being held now? I can't comment on that. Is the juvenile a boy? Can't comment on that. Do you have a spelling on the name of the victim? Lizette Eckert is L I Z E T T E. Eckert is E-C-K-E-R-T. James is the common spelling. I mentioned that the search took about a couple of hours from that area. Seeing it, it seems very woody behind there. Is that what they were having to get in the cars? Can you just describe what, how the process was like up to the, the finding there? It took, it took a while. Um, certainly it took a while. Certainly um, you've seen the area surrounding that residence. It is a wooded area. Um, and the search took as long as it did take. You may have said this already. The two victims, are they husband and wife? Um, I can't comment on that at this point. I have not said that. Do you know where on the property it happened? It seems to be a house and a barn. Can you speak to that at all? So I can't provide any information about where in the re on the residence or in the property where, where, the, where the incident occurred. I'm sorry to make you repeat yourself again, but you nope. said Lizette it was found deceased, correct? Correct. And can you just um, elaborate on injuries or wounds? 
So she suffered a gunshot wound. I can say that James suffered gunshot wounds. I can't provide any information beyond that. Okay. Weapon recovered there. I can't comment on that. Can you just clarify the physician not called the criminal charges? Is that right? So he's charged under the juvenile laws. With a crime. Has charged under the juvenile laws with what would be the equivalent of, of the second degree murder and attempted murder crimes. What's the next step then for him? So I can't comment even on the juvenile process. That's a closed process in the state of New Hampshire. So, so it's not information I can provide. What would be the next step in a situation? So like I can that. tell you there are closed proceedings in any juvenile proceeding that are closed proceedings. And there are timelines established by statute for when those proceedings occur. Um, and that next steps um, would be what they refer to as an adjudica adjudicatory hearing. Does that anybody have to else have a certain amount of time? Tomorrow? By statute, that has to happen, I believe, within 21 days. Those are timelines that can be waived by juvenile defendants, depending was, on the matter. Was anybody else injured? Um, I can't comment on that at this point. A lot of people are obviously talking about this in town. Is there any message tonight to those people? People in the community, people that are worried, people that have seen all this activity for us. Yep, certainly, and as, as, I, as I think we stated in our release earlier today, um, you know, we've identified all of those involved in the incident. There is no general danger to the public um, at this time, and I believe that's the statement we put out earlier this morning. I'm uh, sorry if you already mentioned this. Was there anyone else in the home when you arrived? So that's not something I can, I can comment on. Okay. Have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, or officers as well here? So certainly we, we respond to, to all matters of incidents, whether they involve juvenile perpetrators, and we've had multiple incidents with juvenile perpetrators this year, um, as well as incredibly tragic homicide situations. This is an incredibly tragic homicide situation. Do you have any information on James Obezet as far as um, how long they've lived in the area? On who, sorry? The victim. Oh, okay. How long they've lived in the area, or maybe their professions or anything like that? Not any additional information. No. Do you know if there's anything being done in the community in response to something like this? Um, so certainly the support services could be made available if there, if there are those that are interested. Um, was, it, I mean, was the child in, in a school system where that is being happened? That's happening? not something I can comment on. Okay. What about the schools you saw through town? Did you understand that there was a lockdown in place? Can you just describe how close all the ones were? There was a lot, what? A lockdown in front of the schools that were close by in the town. I've had it reported. Okay. Can you describe what happened from there? Um, certainly if that's what's being reported, uh, I can't comment on that. I don't have any information about the lockdowns at the school, any lockdowns at the school. You mentioned that James is in critical condition? I believe that's the word I used, yes, critical condition. Okay. But will survive, likely? Um, I did not say that. Okay. And you said it's reckless second degree murder and attempted second degree murder. Uh, there's no attempt second degree murder, it's just attempted murder. Oh, att attempted murder. Do you believe right. that more charges might be coming? I can't, I can't speculate as to that. Can you identify who owns the firearm? I can't provide that information. What's the difference between reckless? So what you have in any criminal charge is a, is a mental state. Here the mental state charged is reckless. Other variants of second degree murder would be a knowing second degree murder. First degree murder is purposeful. So there's your, there's your difference between those. Were you or have you or someone been able to have a conversation with this 11 year old? I can't comment on that. When you have a juvenile and there may be a consideration of charging them as an adult, where does that happen in those 21 days or does it happen after? Um, no, certainly we, it would be something that would happen prior to that. Um, we're, we're juvenile certification pursuit. I can't comment as to whether or not that's something being considered here. Some of these things that you're saying you can't answer at this time, like were there other kids in the home or anything like that, do you anticipate being able to release that information soon? Um, I don't, no. That, that's investigative information and information where a case is ongoing that we typically do not release and I can't anticipate that we would release here, um, at least any time in the near future. Is there an age cutoff for charging between uh, adult and child? Um, there, there are, I think there is case law with respect to at what age someone, someone can be certified. Uh, it doesn't sound correct to me at this point. Do you know what it means? Not offhand, no. Do you think it's older than 11? No comment. Do you, uh, is it the only likely press statement you'll be making? Today? I mean, today? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's certainly not final, but I, but I can't comment on it beyond that. What about the scene, the road? I know it's been closed off for mm -hmm. all day. Any yep. anticipation of what's going to happen over there? It'll continue to be closed off as that scene is, is, is searched in process. It's already being searched currently? 
Um, I can't speak to whether, what they're doing right at this moment. Um, but that scene uh, obviously will be searched and processed as the scene of this incident. Okay. Is it possible the autopsy results could be released over the weekend? Yes, possibly. Okay. Again, if that autopsy happens tomorrow, as, mm -hmm. as is tentatively scheduled, uh, we would anticipate perhaps releasing the results sometime over the weekend. Okay. 